I was finally able to put the baby to sleep for a nap. Um, I always check, I'm checking my monitor, my baby monitor, like I usually do. Um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to show you guys um, my cloth diapers. I've been wanting to um, use them. Um, it's really hard, I'm not going to lie. Um, I feel like you, you, you do put more work, obviously, you don't just throw them away. However, um, it is better for the environment and uh, I, do, I do feel bad just purchasing um, diapers and throwing them away. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah, I purchased about eight of them, and I think I have all of them in this little basket right here. Um, and hopefully I can show it to you guys. Um, and, um, explain as to why it's been kind of hard for me to stick to them. Uh, though I did just get them, uh, what, I think it's been about a month since I purchased all of them. Um, so here, let's just start. Um, so I got these. So, so cute. I mean, I, my mother um, used cloth diapers on me and my brothers. But these are so, so cute. I mean, look at this. I think these are the weed huggers. I'm not sure. So, you open them like that. Like that. And so this is the cover. And so the insert goes in here, which also came with, I think it came with an insert. Uh, I use these, I used this one like one time. And I felt like they kind of hurt her from here. I don't know. I think I just need to kind of try them more than one time. And kind of adjust them and, you know, like, because they're size, like you can size them up and all of that. Oh gosh. I think I just have my daughter. Yep. She's awake. Anyways, so this is the other one right here. Um this one is so so cute. Oh my god. So so cute. Look at that. Um, which one was the other one? The other one? No, wait, that's not it. Um, hmm, I'm missing a blue one. I don't have it with me. Anyways, I purchased this from a YouTube, um, a YouTube sub subscriber that I um, somehow stumbled upon. She's awesome, by the way. Hi, you know who you are. Um, Anyways, uh, I think she is so talented. She made these. They're just, they're so, so cute. Look at this. They're just adorable, adorable. I can't wait to use them on my daughter. So that's one. This is the other one. And this one. Um, this one, I washed this one. And I got a little pink here. I'm not sure if you can see. It's not a big deal, really. I mean, the point is to not throw diapers in the ocean because that's where they end up. Um, but instead, to reuse your diapers. Um, just like we reuse our underwear, right? <laughs> anyway, so here are, the, here are the inserts that this YouTube person sent me. Um... And I'm not sure. I put one on my daughter and it leaked like all over her leg. But I think it's just me. Like I'm not being patient enough to adjust um, her little legs. Um, I think it was too loose. Anyways, um, I will keep on trying them, I promise. Just to give them a try a little more. Uh, oh, and I don't think I showed you guys... No, I did show you guys that one. Anyways, um, 
So that's my diapers. I think I'm missing one and that's about it. Um, I wanted to show you guys what my husband got me for Valentine's. Oh, isn't that cute? I love it. I love, love, love staffed animals. Um, it's been so hard with the new baby. So, so hard on both of us. Let me check on her. She's awake, but contempt. Anyway, so it's just been really hard. Um, especially, I think, because we were so used to just uh, being the two of us. We've been married for 11 years. 11 years. And I'm now we wearing my wedding ring because I lost it. So, so, so sad. That I have the window open and I thought I've heard something. Anyways. He got me this. He got me the camera that I'm using to record these videos. And what else? Um, he got me flowers, chocolates. I mean, it was, I thought, I mean, it was just so nice to feel, you know, sometimes when you've been married for so long, you kind of forget you know about those little things and now with the baby it's just everything is the baby the baby takes a hundred and ten percent all the time which is funny because I don't I hate it when people say a hundred and ten percent there's no such a thing as a hundred and ten percent it's a hundred percentages are out of a hundred whatever I'm not even gonna go there. Um, anyways I uh, I wanted to, just to show you guys this. Um, also, let me put him down. I have started a food journal, I want to say, to count calories. Um, I know that I don't supposed to go supposed to be dieting and I'm not um, what I, what I'm doing is basically um, eating healthy and I am watching my calories I know that I'm supposed to take about 1800 calories because I am breastfeeding um, and I know that if I eat less than my meal production will, will not stop but it kind of affects your meal production and I don't want to put my daughter on, on formula um, like I said I love breastfeeding her um, anyways I will be um, my husband is also is actually working tonight so I may not even see him until tomorrow it's kind of sad um, my schedule is just that way so Emma and I end up spending a lot of time together. That's my daughter's name. Um, let me. So yeah, um, but he's he's just great help when he's home. I can't wait for him to come home. I literally stand by the door at four thirty when he comes home at that time. Just so I can hand the baby over. <laughs> Just so I can, I can get some time for myself. Um, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's wonderful. But um, it's a new person in our lives. And it takes work. Um, so that's what I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about. Um, I'm not sure how long it's been. I didn't really pay attention to the time, but I will wrap this up, and I hope, um, yeah, I hope to keep on posting videos. Um, I, it's, it's kind of, I don't know, um, I'm like a very private person, so doing these videos and posting them on YouTube seems kind of wrong to do, but at the same time, I get to meet wonderful people and they're so supportive and so I really don't see nothing wrong with great support. 
Um, because the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is social life and being a mom in a way. Gosh, it is so hard. I am the type of person that want to please everyone and so I never say no. And I am so exhausted from going out to lunch with my friends because breastfeeding out at a restaurant, I mean, it is just hard. It is hard. Um, so, yeah, what are your guys' thoughts about that? Um, how do I... How do I manage friends, family, studying, husband, and... Uh, and being a mother. My daughter is calling me. So, I better wrap this up. Uh, I'm just really, really excited to be on YouTube and can't wait to uh, read what you guys have to say. Alright, bye bye.